what's up youtube how's it going guys welcome back to another video apologize if uh i seem to lose my train of thought because i'm a little bit rusty right now haven't really recorded a vlog in probably three months there's just been a lot of stuff that's come up over the past few months especially since the last time i recorded a vlog i believe that's when i started my new job so that's just been in the way for basically a while there's been a few points where i've uh recorded stuff i've done with the car but I just feel like the quality didn't fit to standards or there just wasn't enough content recorded for that or there was too much content recorded and it just be too long of a video. Other than vlogs, I have posted quite a few edits. If you guys are looking for more of how like my production style has improved, you could check that out. Some car, one motorcycle, one for like actually shooting some type of promo for a friend. Like I said, just recommend checking those videos out if you actually want to see my production style. In the last video I recorded, I mentioned how I was getting rid of the Audhans because I was departing from Stance and I figured it was time to start moving forward with how I want to end the car with. In the beginning, it was just like, I just want to make the car look good. Just for a little bit, I just realized it wasn't really my style. I'll always have like respect and stuff for Stance cars, but it's just not something I can see myself rocking. So I did decide to go with a new set of wheels, which I'm sure you could see if you checked out these edits I've made. If not, I'll reveal them to you now. set of Enki RPF1s in SBC, which is more of like a black chrome type finish. I just like the look of polished wheels. I was kind of avoiding them when I was looking for wheels just because they're really basic. Everybody rocks them, but at the end, I had to go with those. So I don't regret the decision. I should have went with that from the beginning because I would have saved a lot of time and some money. But I just thought about it a little bit more differently back then, but you live and you learn. I did record an unboxing for them, but the audio in that was just really bad, so I never posted that. But I had the wheels on the car for a few months now. Fitment on these, I'd say is basically almost perfect. There's really no problem with the wheels. The only issue I'm having is I still have rubbing going on when I drive at a lower ride height, which is really weird. So I do have to figure out what's going on with that. I do prefer to drive at a lower ride height just because that looks just looks better in my opinion but it's just really annoying when i can't turn more than 30 degrees without without something rubbing and it's it's also weird because as fitting these wheels they clear perfectly fine so i just have to look more into why everything happens like that after the wheels maybe a few weeks later i finally decided to purchase a standalone ecu and i went specifically with aam series 2 I also want to get the car dyno tuned. I recorded a bit of that, but I just feel like there wasn't much content other than just literally dyno pills that I recorded. So that's why that never came out. But I'll post some clips of, you know, runs that we did that day. My car even shot a flame, which was pretty fucking nice. <laughs>
unfortunately I, I, I might have to get the car retuned within the next little bit because I'm just not really happy with this tune the way that it came out and there are some problems that the tune did cause that I kind of have temporary solutions but it's just like it creates more problems I guess you could say it's just a little bit confusing I could talk about it in another video at some point if it really matters that much when I got the tune I installed this uh, wideband I'm not sure if you guys can see it it's for the air fuel ratio just so I can monitor that while I'm driving and whatnot and you know people drive by you think it's a boost gauge and then they don't want to mess with you so that's also another fun thing I also installed the spoon rear view mirror uh, to go along with the side mirrors just because I like the way it looks it looks like it's a it fits on like OEM for the most part basically and it's a blue tin as well what I've been working on in the past few weeks is uh, finalizing the trunk setup for my airlift kit because when I installed this kit I we kind of just like bolted shit down in the trunk there wasn't really a proper setup and it's just like every time I opened that trunk it was just a mess the thing was actually nice to look at so I would never really leave my trunk open and showcase it because yeah you can show off that you have bags and shit but the whole point of having it in the trunk is so you can have a nice looking setup and you can show it off so I've been working on finalizing that I'll show you guys what I what it looks like currently and just finishing up what I want to do with that just so I can open the trunk and say damn that looks that looks clean I'm proud to have a trunk that looks like this and I guess apart from the vlogs and stuff I also purchased some new pieces for the gimbal I've been using so that'll help improve the quality when I'm shooting cinematics and stuff I was gonna test them out this past weekend because I went out with some people in the crew to the beach but due to uh, certain circumstances I had to leave before I actually shot anything useful which was kind of disappointing but I spent half the day out with them so although it would have been better to spend some more time we spent half the day with each other so and other than that there's really nothing else to update you guys on except for within the next few weeks I'll be making a video on what it's like to daily drive a bagged Honda S2000 sorry the sprinklers are kicking on right now but I've been back for almost exactly a year. In the next few weeks, it'll be a year. So that's some nice content I get to make. And, you know, I'm sure lots of people wonder what it's like to daily a bagged on a S2000 or bag car in general, you know, or some issues that you got to learn about. But if you do everything right, you won't have issues. And I will say that over the last six months, I've been planning to purchase a motorcycle and create some, some form of content with that. It's been something I've been thinking about for the past year and back in January I took a motorcycle course and got my, uh, I got an endorsement so I am now legally able to drive a motorcycle. I just need one. So that's something I am excited about if I can figure out ways to make content with that. Uh, that'll be nice. I'll be using the bike as a daily and the s2000 will become a project car so that's good as well just more content in general and i'm trying my best not to hit 100,000 miles in this car i am i just passed 84,000 last week a few days ago something like that so i just realized it's just slowly been getting darker so hopefully you guys have been able to see me this whole time because i just got a little bit more to say um that's basically everything to catch you guys up on regarding the S2000 and everything. If you'd like to see more frequent updates and whatnot, feel free to follow my Instagram, alan.s2k. It's linked in the description. I do post about my car a lot anytime anything happens. It's also a personal page, so I guess if you guys want to check out more about me, once again, as usual, I do apologize for the lack of uploads. It's just life's been getting in the way. That, that stuff happens, but... I do have plans other for other than YouTube for this year. So all that being said, just drop a like, leave some feedback in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description. You know, the usual things that YouTubers will say. So 
Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.